Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas from Visual Sense Crafts and I'm really excited because I've got my little new new little toy. This is the um, smallest blower in the world, apparently. <laughs> so it arrived today and I've not had a chance to try it yet. So I'm going to give it its first test today. Um, the, uh, it's, I'm not the first one to use this because they're all over YouTube. Lots and lots of people are using them for these um blowing techniques so i thought i'd get one give it a go and see what see how it works so it's plugged in the other side of my desk but it's got quite a long wire on it because my it's a usb connector on the end of it and my usb plug socket is over that side but it just does just about reach so that's all good um and it does seem to have quite a good blow on it. And it's not battery operated, so we don't have to spend loads of money on batteries. So I'm just going to give it a quick test. So I'm going to do my put my pillow on. Let's see how we get on with this. Um, this is just a six inch tile which I've given a coat of gesso and I've got my little tab on the back of it. Probably a bit too much pillow paint on there, but never mind. I've got my little duct tape tab on the back of it that I always have to hold on to. Um, now let's get some, rid of some of these flipping bubbles. Oh, I'm getting paint all over me already. get rid of some of those um so the colors i'm using today i'm just using standard colors i'm not mixing with mixing them mixing the colors i'm just using them straight from the bottles with the pouring medium which is the my pouring medium is um the valspar and polycrylic varnish um, and then I mix it with my paints. So the, my colours today are Burnt Sienna by Arteza, Thalo Green by Arteza, and this one, I'll, which I can never say, Alizarin Crimson. Um, so this just this is just going to be a very quick video, just to give this its first little test. So I'm going straight on and put the colours on and I'm going to go with the Burnt Sienna first. Got a big, quite a big circle of that on because I don't want to have to overstretch it. These are just some colours that I already had mixed so that's why I'm using these colours just because they're there. I've been going for more earthy tones just lately and I'm really enjoying the earthy tones and then our pale green got quite a lot of bubbles in there I should have given it let it settle a bit first I've just given it a good mix up I'll just give it a quick blast and then that Alizarin Crimson, <laughs> the Crimson. <laughs> I'm going to tip the whole flipping pot up then. Oh dear. So I'm so excited to get using this little blower. <laughs> so that's our colours on. Um, just give that Crimson a quick blast. And my cell activator is just the Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with the Australian Flood Flow Troll and a couple of squirts of the, a couple of a few drops of Liquitex ink, Titanium White. You can still see bubbles. This is just a little test piece, but I still want it to look nice. If possible. So cell activator on there. Not 
too much. I'm trying not to use too much cell activator because I think I always use too much, you know. Right, so let's give my hands a bit of a wipe. We'll try and keep this blower as clean as possible for as long as possible because I do get everything covered in paint. So let's give it a go. It's quite powerful. I think I'm going to just take that off. Let's just try it without that first of all. See how that works. Try not to drop it in the paint. It's really important to turn it off. Yeah. Well, that doesn't look too bad to me. What do you think? We'll just let it come back up and then uh, we'll stretch it out and see how it goes. But that doesn't look too bad. It's quite a powerful little blower, that is. Quite surprised by how powerful that was. So I'll just bring this paint down to the corners and the, to the edges while we're waiting for that to rise back up in the centre. So that was um, £12 something. I can't remember what the something was, probably 99p, because I'm in the UK. So £12 something off Amazon. So I'll put the link in the description below so you can find the same one if you want to have a go with it but first impressions are very good I rather think that could be the answer we're always looking for the answer what is the question <laughs> so try not to drop it move that Hold on to my little tab underneath. And has it come unstuck from the middle? No, we'll just give it a little bit longer. It did blow down quite a bit in the middle. Shouldn't take too long, but... Sorry, I'm crinkling the paper, making a noise with it. I'm trying, trying not to lean on it. That <laughs> yeah, looks quite pretty though, doesn't it? What do you think? Do you think that was a good blow? So, are we ready to move? Let's give it a little tip backwards and forwards to try and get that centre moving. Still a little bit stuck. We'll just move it backwards and forwards to try and move it a bit. Take it down more a bit. I'm not sure that middle is still a little bit stuck, I think, but I think we're all right. So, off that corner and back. So, for a first go, I think that's not too bad. Probably needs a bit of practice because it actually did take me by surprise quite how strong that was. It is quite a powerful little blower. Off that one, back again. Take it off that corner there. I 
think it would work well with a bigger canvas. Like I said, this is a six, six inch by six inch tile. And I think on a bigger canvas or a bigger board or whatever surface, it would work probably a lot better. Although I think that's not too bad results for a first go. What do you think? I do like the colours on that as well. I think they look really nice. So the slow corner. It does get there, it just takes a bit longer. And I usually put some more paint back on to help drag it down. So how long is that blower going to stay paint free? <laughs> Everything I have in this room gets covered in paint or splattered in paint. I end up having to pick it up and uh, use the bottles and... Oh dear. You can't keep clean, can you, when you're doing this? This is the... Of all the paint pouring techniques, this is the one I get most messed up with. I always end up with it on my chin. Ah, now I haven't today. I haven't this... Well, I say today. I had to have today because I did earlier. Because I was blowing with my mouth. But this one, I haven't got paint on my chin because I didn't blow it with my mouth, did I? So. <laughs> it's one plus in its favour anyway. But I think that's really rather nice, you know. Oh, just want to get it off that corner. There we go. That's that. I was loosening quite a bit of lacing on there. So I'll get that back down there as much as we can. There. Clean the bottom edge off. That's all I do, just take my finger along and scrape all that off the edge. So, what do you think? I think that's worked really rather well. I would definitely be practicing a bit more with that, but for a first effort, I think that's not bad. I'll just take my gloves off, I'll put that on there. I'll take my gloves off and then bring you down for a close up. So there's the close-up, and I think that is a success. Look at that delicate lace in there, that looks just beautiful. What do you think? Success? I'm certainly pleased I got it, and I can't wait to test it out on some more paint pours and... Um, techniques and some bigger canvases that's all from our little baby leaf blower smallest blower in the world apparently so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like click the like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel because I do feel silly sat here just talking to myself and it would be nice to know that there's people watching <laughs> and listening to my ramblings but I'm really rather pleased with that. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.